Hello and welcome to Travelling Light here on Angling Addict. The Travelling Light series is taking place at the camping and caravanning club site in Hereford. We've been staying here for a number of days now. Let's go inside and take a look at what it's all about. As you can see, I'm now standing on the banks of the Mill Pond Fishery. We're in fact inside the grounds of the campsite and you may not be able to see them but there are caravans over there. This means it's perfect for anyone who has a tent, a camper van or a caravan to come and stay and they're right on the banks of the venue they're about to fish. It's also a day ticket water so it's great for the public also. For the course angler it's an amazing fishery because the specimens are well, they're unbelievable. They're a perch to over four pounds. They're a carp to over 35 pounds. Roach, tench, bream, rudd, and many more coarse species. Coarse angler, if you come here to the Mill Pond Fishery, you can't complain, trust me. It's an excellent venue. We've been staying here now for five nights at the Mill Pond Fishery, or should I say, the Hereford Camping and Caravanning Club site. In this video, we're gonna take a look back at the sessions that we've had during the course of the week, and you'll be able to see the success and the failures that we've encountered. On our first session here at the Mill Pond, it was a bitter day. High wind speeds and very cold weather made it very difficult to fish. My brother Ross, who was fishing with me through every session this week, managed five gudgeon and maybe one rud, I think. Not a bad catch considering the weather conditions. I, however, failed miserably with only one small rud this sort of size. Very disappointed, we headed back to the van and had a rethink of our tactics. On our second session here at the mill pond, Ross and I fished the shallow bay to the left of me in hope that we'd come to contact with some of the big carp in the lake. The sun was beaming down on the shallower water and the theory was that that would warm up fastest. Unfortunately, we didn't come into contact with any of the carp at all. The ledgering technique had failed. At around four o'clock that day, Ross and I moved to the far bank behind me where Ross encountered one of the big perch. Let's take a look at the clip. Ross has just caught this really nice perch I mean, look at that. Really lovely fish, isn't it, Ross? Yeah. Personal best perch for Ross. Definitely. Brilliant fish. We're going to weigh him now, but he looks over a pound. Yeah. Really nice quality predator. Our third session here at the mill pond was one that we fished the same pegs Ross caught his two pound perch from. We decided to fish those pegs because we were familiar with the base of the lake over there after we plumbed up the depth and it was quite a sheltered spot. I also wanted to catch a big perch. Would that happen? We didn't know at that time. Let's take a look at what I did catch. We're traveling light. Listen to that. We think there's a perch on the end. We think we've got a big perch. We're at Mill Pond Fishery in Herefordshire. And there's perch to over four pound in here. This could be a four pounder. I don't know whether it will be. Listen to that. It's definitely putting off a fight. This could be a carp if, though. If, if it's a carp, I won't be, dis I'll dis I'll be, I won't be disappointed. But if it's a perch, then I'll be over shaking its head like a perch. I caught it on maggot in a swim full of silvers. Yes, and we have had this on for about five yeah, minutes. It's been on for about so five minutes now. I it's about five feet from the bank, maybe six feet. So and I it think went out to about 25 metres, didn't it, Rob? Yes. Oh. Oh. Well, well, okay, I will go and. Um, Ross, you just video the whole thing. So yes, okay. I am, I'll just, I've got to get the net. We did hook one earlier, didn't we, Rob? Yes, this morning. This could be this morning no, fish. No, no. So Zoom out fully, Ross, get the whole it is. rod in and everything. It is. Bend that rod. Oh, uh, no, I'm feeling those tags again. 
this morning the uh, the line broke my I say the line broke this morning we hooked something like this and I kept feeling little twigs of maybe whether the line was attached to the fish's uh, gills because they got spiky gills these perch and um, I could feel it all the while bumping on it and eventually the line snapped just above the hook length so that really made me think it was a perch and I can feel the same thing happening here we've only got a five pound line on I just pray please will it not come off looks like it's very close it's not think, too far I think oh it's... I'll hold it again looks like it's over there like that again you don't know how scary it is when you feel feel that just try it very lightly it's a, it's a perch is it a car? it's a perch it might be a car Ross don't know. Uh, no, I don't think it's a perch. I think it's a car. You think it's a car? And is it? I think it's a car. Oh no, it might be a car. If this is. Yeah, we've got a car. Yeah, it's big. It's big. It's not too big. It's big, yeah. Huh? Ah, it's big. Not a bad. Nice car. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait until he ties and we get him head yeah. first in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. This don't, is we're, on, don't. we're on a, a two pound, three pound bottom, and this carp is a double figure. <laughs> Your personal best <laughs> then. It might, no, it, it might not be. Twelve pound, I've got to beat. This would be well better than don't that. Take that for me, that would be real. I've got the net, you real. Line. Just a... <laughs> on a little match float rod. Is what you get, oh my rod's in the way. Hey, try and get up the bank. Just go round if you can. Go no go oh, okay. Okay, bit of, bit of action there, mate. So if you can get it up the bank here yeah. in the reeds or round there, because I can get it then. It's off. <laughs> Look at the rod. <laughs> it's off. Want to get its head in. <laughs> oh, oh something. Ah, my knee. Wait, 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 hey. Okay, I just don't want it to come off, it's not that big. It looks big. Never seen one this big before. <coughs> it's been on about, let's see, 15 minutes now. <laughs> I mean, don't don't rush it. We need a bigger net. After an awesome battle, the fish finally came to the net. What a result. Yeah. Ten. Okay, move as well. Size 18. Someone could remove the net, please. Thanks. That was just on two maggots. Yeah. It's got half a tail. Yeah, he's had a bit of juice. Yes. A 15 and a half pound mirror. A new personal best carp for me, but on a three pound hook length, I was over the moon to land that fish. It wasn't a big perch, no, but as I said, a personal best. And that fish came into the margins in the evenings and we only had minimal tackle with us and we managed a 15 and a half pound carp on roach gear. What more can you ask for? Traveling light does work. Going? Yeah. Lovely big 15 and a half pound. Going back. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah. Very tired. Whew. 
Our fourth session here at the Mill Pond Fishery was a session on a cold, windy day, much like the first day, yet we had lots more success than we did on our first session. We fished the bank that Ross landed his big perch from and where I also landed the 15 and 8 pounds carp from. It was the bank over there, the far bank, yet we were not on the same pegs. We were fishing waggler tactics, close in at around 5 metres from the bank, in 6 foot of water. Although it was a cold day and the sun was out very rarely on that occasion, we still caught steadily roach, rudd and Ross even encountered a decent sized skimmer. Unfortunately, no big perch were caught, yet I did have a, a few small ones. Let's take a look at a few clips from the day. Right then, after we've mixed that ground bait, I've just put two golf ball sized ground bait balls into my swim, cast straight over the top, and within seconds the fish are on the, on the bait. Look at that, a quality roach. Must be a at least six ounces. I'm gonna put him in the net and return him to the water. He wants to go. Now, even when we're traveling light, we're making sure we're feeding all the time. Feeding and location of your bait is key when you're fishing. Nice skimmer. Close on a chopped worm. Stemming Well, our last <laughs> session here at the Mill Pond Fishery. It's day four, and what a better way to finish than by saying, and telling you what we've been using to travel light with. Over this mission, we've been trying to prove that you can catch some quality fish without masses of tackle. Because a lot of the time, fishing isn't all about masses of tackle. Sometimes it's about going away on little, little trips with a rod in hand, and that's all you've got. But we've managed to catch some quality fish and again, we've got a fish here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Still little, but nevertheless, we're still catching, even with minutes to go. Waggler rods, a few small deck chairs. We've brought two waggler rods with us on this traveling light series. We've also brought a quiver tip rod, which is in the van. We've got a small bait box, a Preston Innovations match style bait carrier, this sort of size. But obviously fish safety comes first, so we've got our landing net and our unhooking mat also. And apart from that, we don't need any more gear. So what more can I say? A few rods, the odd rod rest, unhooking mat, landing net, which is very important, and then a small bag with your bait and tackle in it. You can now go out on the bank and be confident that you can catch quality fish like we've done in this video. Well then, overall, we've had a look back at our four sessions here at the Mill Pond Fishery. What more can you ask for really, apart from some better weather? We have managed to catch fish, including, as you've seen, some quality carp, even though it did have a damaged damaged tail. That 15 pounder was a new personal best, I must say. And I really enjoyed playing it on such light gear. It really got my heart in my mouth at that point. Ross also, as we've seen, landed a personal best perch, which obviously he's very, very, very happy with. And um, I'm just looking across at the lake now and thinking what beautiful surroundings we have and how lucky we are to have spent the last few days here at the Mill Pond Fishery. I hope this video inspires you to go out on the bank with minimal tackle or when you may be going camping or something like that, take a few rods, take a little bit of gear and you never know, you could encounter some huge carp on light gear like we did. Thanks for watching this video everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it.